Okay, guys, today I'm recording this. Uh, this it's actually pretty dark here. Oh, but oh, I got this very super bright, uh, super bright, what you call this torch. Uh, this is my friend one is about 100, 100 bucks ringgit Malaysia. So it's 25 US dollar. So it's pretty bright, bright here. So So it's very creepy at the uh, at this time at near to four morning inside the jungle. So but it's pretty bright. I carry a hiking stick with me also. So uh, so it's not easy to record it because I need to hold to my camera and the torch light as well as my hiking sticks. So actually all this is a kind of fear you know that we will go through because you will start imagining oh, what will happen you know or in a the movie there could be animals or even the the spirit or whatever you know but I have faith in my uh, spiritual path so I'm not afraid actually I, I will normally open a song a spiritual song so it will help me to calm down my my fear so so I think I probably want to record it until here but I want to show you guys how it looks like inside the jungle all by myself alone at 4 morning <coughs> just with a bright uh, torchlight of course sometime you may see a snake here it's which very rare but sometimes you wouldn't know a python will appear no, of course those are smaller snakes I'm not afraid unless it's poisonous but I have my hiking sticks ready and of course they could be this uh, big monkey or makeke I think it's not it's not those normal uh, monkey that are afraid of human and of course uh, uh, there's no monitor lizard here which obviously I'm not that scared also uh, there is also a wild boar but the wild boar here is pretty small like normally it's uh, very very afraid of human and, and you hardly could see it so so besides those uh, not so wild boar and of course monkey also is very rare to appear here so maybe deeper you, you may see some uh, monkeys not just a monkey a bigger one a uh, more fearful monkey and of course you wouldn't know what other kind of animals here but generally there's no tiger here lah. no lions or or what you call this uh, 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 mountain mountain uh, what you call this uh, mountain cats right or those cougar puma that people encounter in the uh, what I call this uh, Western country <coughs> in Australia or maybe in in uh, what I call this uh, America I'm not sure and there is uh, this grizzly bear also as well it's a uh, very uh, terrifying so people really need to carry the uh, what I call this uh, bear spray so so this route I usually uh, have come to this route very often so it's quite familiar I won't get lost basically but at this time for morning I think I've been here uh, once alone once alone before using my handphone uh, torch that time was also extremely terrifying and and I also uh, happened to saw two person inside the jungle at the time also so so now I have to go out to one of the road uh, towards the outside part, outside part of the jungle. So there's another op more open space uh, trail road. So that one is maybe it's, uh, outside of the jungle. But basically I want to test out this, uh, how powerful this uh, torch, you see. You can actually uh, zoom it you know, like this. So. So of course I prefer it to be more widened as uh, 
the light is enormously or very big very bright you know so I think a bigger scope will be less uh, what you call uh, less fear so to say okay so basically today is a, a Friday Friday and it's actually Saturday because it's already morning four morning right so normally at this time in Malaysia you can expect they got uh, this uh, Premier League or Champions League <coughs> but today is uh, Friday night and then Saturday morning there's no matches <sighs> so very seldom I come here normally if I walk in this time <coughs> I will walk outside the road or some other trail you know behind my house there's a highway there are people staying there but right here I basically I can tell you there's nobody at all nobody in this jungle except for some not so wild animals so to say so the path here actually is not that far probably it will take you oh, let me see maybe 15 minutes or 10 minutes probably 15 minutes I'll say unless you walk extremely fast or very fast if you walk uh, moderate fast I think it should be near to 15 minutes so by the time you go back and forth, it should be like 30 minutes plus plus. You will walk pretty fast, I would say. You walk slow, probably it's 20 minutes to reach out to the the space just now that I mentioned is outside of this jungle. So far, there's no encounter anything yet, especially the what we call this squirrel. Because now it's the COVID time, right? So, so if you walk alone, it's actually a pretty good idea. You don't need to wear your mask, and there's a definitely no need to social distance because nobody's here. But I'm not sure whether the authority actually allow us to to hide. But I think it should be should be okay. You no know, exercise and and what I call this a uh, walking, brisk walking allowed. But I'm not sure they specify that uh, hiking is allowed. But generally on the daytime, there's a lot of people. Uh, not to say a lot, uh, quite a numbers of hikers here. But at this time, I really doubt what anyone want to come out here. Because tomorrow, Saturday, I believe many people are still working. Unless it's uh, Sunday tomorrow. So, okay, it's almost reached out already. So, yeah. So, this is actually a very big uh, torch. Uh, it's not that heavy, but it's still heavier than most i do carry my headlamp with me i want to show you the difference but what i see here in reality uh, is very much brighter than what you see in the video the video show like it's just cover one part of an area i'm not sure it's the same or not from what i experienced here but later i'm going to show you uh, my headlamp which is uh, the china one which is pretty bright the lumen i think should be like 300 lumen or 250 at least so i don't use the branded one like uh tikina is it tikina the bezel bezel tikina yeah and the black diamond that one is a bit pricey lah, but, uh, but actually it's affordable uh, because it's uh those kind of have the advantage of waterproof but i seldom need it you know i seldom really hide in the heavy rain normally it's just a light rain or i will carry an umbrella so I don't need a waterproof uh, function. So you almost reach out already. <sighs> so normally I would be very fearful. Even now so probably I'm talking to you. I feel like someone is there to uh, you know to accompany me. Like I'm talking to you. <sighs> Not to say very terrified, but I still can sense some kind of fear inside me. My heart is actually uh, not to say trembling or shaking, but it's just uh, uh, still pretty frightening. I see. Okay, I reached the outer part already. So even this outer part also, it's not like really say it's very safe because actually this is another path they use to create this trail because they are building the this tower. See, uh, let me show you. I'm not sure you can see. There's a electric tower. A big electric tower that's expanding for the highway. So 